I've got two weeks of SpaceX gems to throw at you, from Starbase evolving into a 15 minute city, to the American military oogling Starship like a piece of meat. So let's catch up on the latest. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. We're behind the scenes as SpaceX and the FAA are on track for a third Starship Super Heavy test flight this month, since SpaceX has submitted their second test flight mishap report to the FA. So while we wait for the date to arrive, here's some more Starship news you should know about. In our last episode, two weeks ago, I went over SpaceX's proposal to trade land in Boca Chica with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. Well, once the word got out to the hippies the following week, that would be last week, the government decided to delay the deal because of all the tree-hugging weeping. So the vote is currently scheduled for March. SpaceX has plans to build a six-story parking garage near the construction site as the new Star Factory buildings begin to expand the Starship fleet scheduled to begin sprouting next week and finish by July. The company also has plans to construct an on-location 15 million must buck 15 minute city with grocery store, retail shops, and cafe included, and a restaurant overlooking the Rio Grande, expected to finish by the end of the year. As fully stacked starships continue to take flight and development continues to ramp up, the Dodd has gone from an interest in booking starship flights a few years ago to now wanting to straight up purchase them from SpaceX for keeps, much like they do with fighter jets from Lockheed Martin or at the very least rent them for high-risk missions and return them to SpaceX after. Right now, the idea is only being floated between the two parties. Star Labs Space is also already super duper serial about using Starship for its purposes. That being the orbital delivery of their private module thing called Star Lab. It's challenging keeping up with all these commercial space station developers nowadays. Moving on to other non-Starship SpaceX news, nerds infatuated with airplanes discovered SpaceX has their own Boeing 737 that's most likely being used to shuttle employees around the country between venues. We know that at one time SpaceX was flying some of their employees via private jetliners, but to state the obvious, times are tough under Bidenomics. But at least astronauts are still flying private. The crew of Axe 3 did reach the space station two weekends ago, so actually they're about ready to return. Undocking is scheduled for Saturday morning, Shotspa. Four more uncrewed Falcon missions did push to orbit since we last spoke, three for Starlink carrying a total of 67 Spacebirds to LEO. Twas the 16th, 18th, and 9th flight for the first stage boosters. Then on Tuesday this week, another Falcon pushed north of Grumman's 20th commercial resupply mission to the space station from Slick 40, Florida. SpaceX giving a lift to their competition again. The first stage booster ascended and descended for the 10th time and touched down back at the coast. And that's a wrap for today. Pleasure doing business with you. Have a nominal weekend, but not too nominal. Otherwise, it wouldn't be nominal. And until next time, whenever that may be, Godspeed. Godspeed.